Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, it's Steve. Today I wanted to do a quick video to teach you how to use a Rode microphone on your computer with OBS. A couple of weeks ago, I actually did a video like this and um, I wanted to just do another one because I have some new information. Back then, I told you to purchase this right here. So this is the TechRise USB sound card. And this is a pretty good sound card. It takes a microphone, a headset, or just headphones. You could adjust the volume here. Um, it has a mute for the mic, a mute for the headset. So it looks like a pretty good sound card. I used this once. Um, I, I'll link the video up here. I, I did record a video and it sounded fine. That was the only video that this worked. Every time I tried to use it after that, I would get a lot of feedback. And I tested it multiple ways. I tested it with microphones, different microphones, um, different settings. And then I thought maybe it was like something else. So then what I did, I plugged just the sound card into my Mac and it was still giving feedback with nothing plugged in. So no mics, no anything. So the TechRise for me did not work too well. So let me just put this down. So I'll tell you what I did purchase now. I did purchase with this an extra cable because obviously this will not reach your computer and you need an extension audio cable. So the Rode microphones use a TRS jack right here. So for your computer or your smartphone, you will need a TRRS. And that is just something that has three black lines on it. The TRS has two black lines. TRRS has three. So what you need is an extension cable and I have the one that I purchased, the, the Duca Bell headphone extension cable. That works perfectly. I'm actually using it right now, as you can see right here, because I am using my Rode VideoMic Pro to record this. So I have two new sound cards that I purchased. Let me put this down. The first one, which I'm not using right now, is the Sound Blaster. So this right here is Sound Blaster Play 3, high resolution USB amp. Right here, right here, it looks very similar to the old one, but it's a lot smaller, as you can see. Remember the old one had all of these features, the mute buttons, the volume. This doesn't have it, and you really don't even need it because you could mute everything in OBS. So this Sound Blaster I tested a couple of times yesterday, and it works perfectly. Um, if for some reason in the next coming weeks I get the same feedback problem, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably post like onto this video in the comments to let you know. But right now, this Sound Blaster works. There it is. And I'll link to everything in the description below. I am not getting paid for this. No ads. It's just tests that I did. The second sound card that I purchased, and I apologize, I don't have the box because it was really, I had to rip the box apart to get into it. It's the, the Sabrent USB Type-C Stereo 3D Sound Adapter. Now this one I'm actually using right now. So I'll take a picture and post it. But this one's really small. This one is actually USB-C. So this one, you connect your cable into the adapter and then the adapter goes into the USB-C port. I kind of like that better because now I have my USB-A um, ports, you know, or my USB-3 ports open. And this is what this one looks like. It's really, really tiny. It's probably like this big. <laughs> so compared to this one, it might be just the size of this here. And again, I'll show you a picture, but I'm using that one right now. I think it sounds fine, but you can leave comments below to let me know how you think it sounds. So I'm using that sound card with this cable right here and my Rode VideoMic Pro right here. You could see it poking. Uh oh, I messed it up a little bit put it back up right out of the sight of the camera and I'm recording in OBS. So I think this sounds really, really good. Um, I'm not in the best room. There's a lot of reverb in here and this microphone picks up a lot of sound, but if I had some carpet down or noise cancellation foam on the walls, I think it would be a lot better, but I don't have that right now. So with that being said, I think this sounds really good. So all in all, I wanted this to be a really quick video. Um, once you have your Rode, any one of them, I have my Rode Video Micro here and my Rode Video Mic Pro here. 
you just connect it to the adapter. Make sure the end of that adapter is an audio TRRS cable. Then you connect the TRRS into any of your sound cards. So here I could attach a microphone or a headset. So since it's a mic, I would just connect it to the microphone port and then I would plug the USB portion into the computer and then it'll detect it into OBS. And that's really all there is to it right now. I got it to work with the Video Mic Pro. I got it to work with my Video Micro right here. And I've tested it multiple times with these two sound cards. Remember, the sound card that I had problems with was this one right here, the TechRise. And I'm not saying you shouldn't try to buy it because I've seen a lot of people use it and it works. Maybe I, I just got a faulty one because the second time I tried to use it, it didn't work. There was a shitload of feedback. So if you have any questions about any of the sound cards I'm using or the microphones that I'm using or my setup, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer all your questions. It's really simple to set this up. Like I said, it's the microphone, the extension cable, and then the sound card. Once you plug it in, OBS will recognize it. And that's really all there is to it. So again, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Keep liking and subscribing. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.